Hello everyone. It's not Linux, it's GNU Linux. That's something we have all heard, especially those who work with this operating system. And we often use it as a meme, but we don't really understand the true impact of what it actually is. And I would like to demonstrate that with a practical example. Uh, the example that I have here would be to install Golang the Go programming language in Alpine Linux. Alpine Linux, as it turns out, is not a GNU Linux. It does not use any of the user land utilities. Okay, well, maybe not any, but it doesn't use most of the GNU based user land utilities. It uses the Linux kernel and a few non GNU utilities. And hence, you know, the distribution is not GNU Linux. I'd like to show how to install Golang in Alpine. So there are two ways to do this, obviously. You can use the APK package manager, add go, I think the command is Golang, and you can install Go. But let's say you want to install the latest version of Go, and like me, you want to install it directly from the main website. So you would go to this website, you'll click on this link. Uh, I have already downloaded the tarpaul and the instructions are pretty clear on how to install everything using the tarpaul. You just copy it to user. Uh, I like to install it in user local bin. So let's do that. User local bin. And here you just do a tar xf golang. And that should do it. Uh, Golang is installed. One more step that we need to do is to add this directory, the go bin directory, to our path variable. If you go here and you see there are two binaries here, go and go fmt. Go, the binary go is just the compiler and go, go fmt is the uh, code formatter, let's say. So even if you are using hard tabs or a different style of braces, it'll just fix all of that according to the Go convention. Um, let's try and uh, run Go here, and you would say it's you would see that the shell prints out uh, binary Go not found, although it's directly here, and I can show this to you that all the permissions are set. So what's happening here? Why is the binary not working? Well, the reason it isn't working can be easily demonstrated if you go, if you use another Unix utility file on this. File is a utility that tells you all the metadata about a given file. Uh, for example, in this case, it shows that the binary go or the file named go is uh, well, there is a lot of stuff here, like it's a ELF executable. It's for x86-64 architecture. And this is the most important part. It's dynamically linked, and the interpreter that it is using is called lib 64 ldlinux dot dot dot. In most distributions, this is a symlink, a symbolic link or a shortcut, to glibc. On Alpine, we don't have uh, a lib64 folder. In fact, all the library, like the system level libraries, including the libc, is in slash lib. And if you go here, you'll see there is a ld muscle, which is the alternate for glibc. And then there is a shortcut for that called libc muscle. And these shortcuts, by the way, the reason they are here is to make your system more upgradable. So, for example, if you want to replace this, with a version 2 or a version 3 or any other minor version between like two releases of muscle, we can just replace the binary with the upgraded version, but this name won't change. So all the binaries that are looking for a, a C library will just call the shortcut and it's just the root of the shortcut will be changed from uh, minor revision 1 to minor revision 2. Of course, that's not always the case. Sometimes there are major revisions and then even the shortcuts name needs to change. 
or we need to install another library. But that's a digression on a digression. Uh, let's try and fix our Go binary. And by the way, the same problem is not there with Go FMT. If you do Go FMT, you'll see it's statically linked. So I mean, this will just run. If you do Go FMT, I mean, it's doing something. I've just not supplied it with any Go programs. It's it's stuck. Anywho, um, let's fix it. So to fix it, we'll use another utility called Batch Elf. Batch Elf is an amazing, amazing project. It comes really handy in these situations. And we'll just do set interpreter equals to, uh, let me see if I can find, uh, just a second. Um, lib ls, yeah. So I'm taking the shortcuts name as usual. I'll just do set interpreter to be lib slash this whole name and it will be for the binary go. No such file or directory. Hmm. Batch elf help. Print interpreter set interpreter. Did I misspell interpreter? Looks like it. Let's just copy this. Oh, there shouldn't be an equal to, I guess. Ah, there we go. I knew I didn't misspell it. It's just the equal sign. Uh, now, if you do go, it says permission denied. Okay, sorry. Yeah, you can see that the compiler is now running. Go is a tool for managing Go source code. Go bug, build, clean, etc., etc. It's not a foolproof solution for for these kind of problems, but it is a really, really handy way of handling things like glib dependencies, you know. And yeah, I mean, there it is, right? Now we can run Go on an Alpine system. By the way, if anyone from GoLang team is looking at this, I mean, just either don't call it Linux call it GNU Linux version for your Golang or you know ship a statically compiled binary for crying out loud. It's 2020. We are not running low on disk space here. In a frambling, I think I'll be off. I hope you learned something, as Rossman would say. <laughs>